today, we have three more gates of Yasan. These are the three gates of Resh. Now, the Hebrew letter Resh means face or head, and it's the path of the sun, the solar path. This is the fully conscious awareness, the air region of the solitary mental body. Um, <clears throat> it is aware of the higher levels of self-awareness, the non-temporal, non-sequential levels. It has access to them, is fully aware of them, and it's also fully aware of the lower lunar aspects of awareness. Okay? So this is the air region of the men temporal mental body. The fire region reaches up and is essentially the path of Beth, of Saturn that connects Kether to Tiferet. So this is the, the part of awareness that can just fly away. But the Resh is the conscious awareness, fully conscious at all times. And it is aware of, fully consciously aware of, the lunar awareness of Toph, which is the moon, which is the lowest of the middle pillar paths, okay? So, <clears throat> our three paths today are one linear path and three triangular paths. Now the triangular path, uh, triangular gates rather, um, <clears throat> integrate that access to the higher levels of awareness, to Chokma and to Bina, okay? They integrate that into the conscious awareness. This is the awareness that we present to the world, okay? This is our conscious awareness. So, <clears throat> our first gate is the path of Resh. And uh, it starts in Tiferet, follows Resh down to Yesod. Now, Tiferet, remember, is beauty. It's that beautiful, perfect reflection of the eye. And Yesod is called the foundation. That's what the word yesod means. Foundation. And it is truly the foundation of the material realm of Malkuth. It is the template upon which all material reality is built. Okay? It's the astral template. So, we start, and from a universal perspective, we start in Tiferet as the entire body of solitary selves, aware of itself and just becoming aware of other. And we take the path of the sun, we shine forth, in our solitary self, our individual awareness, our conscious awareness, and with full consciousness of the whole body of awareness, each one of those solitary selves is fully aware and radiant as it descends into Yesa the foundation, the astral foundation, the realm of significance, it is fully aware. Okay? And then it passes back up the path of Resh to Tiferet. So what this informs one of is the relationship between the full conscious awareness and the subconscious awareness. It informs you of that mechanism whereby one takes on the clothing of the other, wraps itself 
in this astral awareness so that it can maneuver in the realm of significance. Okay? And from a personal perspective, we start as a solitary self. That one little reflection of the eye. And we follow the path of Resh. And as we descend Resh, we become more and more conscious of the totality of being. And we descend into Yesod as fully conscious beings, aware of our connection above and our connection below, as we inevitably head into material manifestation. Okay? This is where we are fully conscious here in the realm of significance. And then we pass back up to the path of Resh, up to the innocence of Tiferet and the solitary self. <clears throat> okay? So that teaches you about the the breadth, the scope of your conscious awareness, the power of the conscious awareness. It is conscious of the full extent, the full breadth of awareness here in this path of Resh. The fully conscious awareness. Fully conscious of your connection to the supernal realm and fully conscious and in full conscious control of the subconscious realm. Okay? So this is that part of awareness that you're cultivating in initiation into hermetics. Because it is this part of awareness that determines the personality, okay? It is this part of awareness that crafts the personality and reaches up to the higher levels of self. Okay, this is what this gate is about. It's a very important gate in the tree of life. Okay? Now, the second gate here, the first of the triangles, unites this <clears throat> with Bina, with the greater self. Okay. So we take, it goes down from, Kat, from Tiferet, down Resh to Yesod, up that hidden path to Bina, down the path of Heth, the path of Cancer to Tiferet. It's that, that birth canal that gives birth to the sense to the solitary self. And then we pass back up to Bina along the path of Heth, down the hidden path to uh, <clears throat> to Yesod, and up the path of Resh to Tiferet. Now uh, what this teaches you uh, from the universal perspective, is that connection with the with the <clears throat> with the undifferentiated form, and it's giving birth to the differentiation, to the differentiated universe, the temporal universe. So it ties the conscious, the fully conscious uh, body <clears throat> of solitary cells to its origins in Bina. And it shows that dynamic, that the role that that connection plays in that fully conscious 
body of solitary cells. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain in words. You'll just have to experience it for yourself. Okay, and then from the personal perspective, you're also, again, you're integrating your greater self, the input of the greater self, in that fully conscious phase of the awareness of the solitary self and its connection with all the levels of self. So the greater self comes into play. Okay? And the final path today is from Tiferet down to Yesod and then up that hidden path to Chokmah and then down the path of Zain to Tiferet, okay, and then back around, okay. Now what this incorporates is, of course, the whole body of essential meaning into that empowered body of solitary cells that the full consciousness of the I within the temporal realm. Okay, the whole body of essential meaning is involved in that process, okay, in that phase of the one self's awareness. Okay? And from the personal perspective, the whole that we have here our connection to essential meaning and the power to directly perceive essential meaning and the role that that plays in the full conscious, fully conscious awareness. It's vitally important to full consciousness, that connection, that rooting in essential meaning. Okay? That is the power of the full consciousness of the solitary self. That power is in the connection to essential meaning. Okay? This is also about the awareness of other, self and other. The conscious awareness is fully aware of self and other, and fully capable of interaction in Yesod, okay? So, those are today's gates of Yesod. We'll be back with more of them next time, alrighty? Bye-bye.